The Cowboy and Golden Cowboy got a huge buff, improving their stats, income, and more. In this video, I'll be showcasing all the stat changes, values, and uses of these towers, then give my personal ranking of how good they are. Also, I'll be comparing them to the farm to determine which tower is better at making money. So, hit that like button and subscribe, and let's get started. I'm going to first take a look at the normal cowboy. If you only really care about the golden cowboy, skip to this part in the video. At level 0, his placement cost was reduced from 550 to 450 cash, and his range increased from 11 to 12. At level 1, his total cost was reduced from 800 to 625 cash, his fire rate decreased from 0.808 to 0.708, and his DPS increased from 1.83 to 2.75. At level 2, his total cost was reduced from 1,100 to 925 cash, and his income reduced from 50 to 40. At level 3, his total cost was reduced from 2,000 750 to 2425, his damage increased from 8 to 10, his fire rate increased from 0.608 to 0.708, its income was reduced from 50 to 40, and his DPS improved from 9.7 to 11.01. At level 4, its total cost remained the same, but it makes income every 12 shots instead of 6, its income increased from 80 to 120, and his DPS increased from 17.4 to 21.83. And finally, at level 5, its total cost remained the same, but it makes income every 12 shots instead of 6, and produces 160 cash instead of 100. This increases its DPS from 38.12 to 52.79. While it is convenient that you can place it on the first wave, it unfortunately can't defend any ways by itself. I'd recommend first spending your money on something more powerful like a shotgunner, then saving up for a cowboy to clean up and produce extra income. Using a shotgunner and cowboy, I was able to get 5 level 3 farms in wave 11, which is pretty dang good. Essentially, the cowboy isn't great for early game defense, but can help you greed for some extra cash. If you decide to use it in the mid to late game, it can be surprisingly effective at producing more income. When I was testing, a level 2 cowboy on wave 24 managed to produce income 8 times, resulting in an extra 320 cash. Considering a level 2 cowboy only costs 925 cash in total, it would roughly take 3 waves to pay itself back. That's really quick, and faster than the most efficient levels of the farms, level 2 and 3, which take 4 waves. However, the farm is producing noticeably more money, with a level 3 farm making 500 cash per wave. But a level 2 cowboy only costs 925 cash, while the farm costs 2000 cash. That means we could get 2 cowboys, which would produce 620 cash, which is 120 more than a farm. So, the cowboy is really efficient in terms of making income. But which tower can actually produce the most money? If we upgrade the cowboy to level 4, for a total of 6,750 cash, which is the best level for making income, from my testing, it was able to produce income 11 times in one wave, resulting in 1,320 extra cash. Meanwhile, a max level farm for 9,500 cash produces 1,500 cash, which is slightly more. But the cowboy has a higher placement limit, being 12, while the farm has a placement limit of 8. If we get the max amount of level 4 cowboys, they would produce 15,840 cash per wave, while 8 farms would only produce 12 thousand cash. Not to mention, the level 4 cowboy pays itself off quicker, taking 5 waves while the max farm takes a little over 6 waves. So, the normal cowboy is now a really solid option for making extra income, and in many cases can actually outperform the farm. Of course, this will depend on the wave, and the farm wins in terms of being more reliable. Also, the normal cowboy really isn't good in terms of DPS, only having 52.79 DPS at max level. So, I'm gonna rank it as a low 8 tier. It's great at making extra income, just it doesn't have very good DPS. Now, let's take a look at the golden cowboy. A level 0, its placement cost was reduced from 700 to 600 cash, its damage increased from 2 to 3, its fire rate was increased from 0.708 to 1.008, its spend time increased from 1.7 to 1.75, its income increased from 25 to 30, its range increased from 12 to 14, and its DPS increased from 2.02 to 2.31. At level 1, its total cost was reduced from 950 to 825 cash, its spend time decreased from 1.7 to 1.35, its income increased from 25 to 30, its range increased from 14 to 16, and its DPS increased from 3.03 to 3.22. At level 2, its total cost was reduced from 1,450 to 1,325 cash, its fire rate was increased from 0.608 to 0.708, its spend time decreased from 1.7 to 1.35, its income increased from 40 to 50, and its DPS decreased from 4.49 to 4.29. At level 3, its total cost was reduced from 3,700 to 3,325 cash, its damage increased from 10 to 12, its fire rate increased from 0.508 to 0.708, its spend time decreased from 1.3 to 1, and his income increased from 40 to 50. At level 4, his total cost was reduced from 10,350 to 9,175 cash. His fire rate was increased from 0.283 to 0.308. His spend time was decreased from 1.3 to 1, and his income was increased from 65 to 150. At level 5, its total cost was increased from 22,350 to 26,675. His damage increased from 
20 to 24, its fire rate decreased from 0.283 to 0.208, its spin time was decreased from 1 to 0.75, its income was increased from 100 to 250, its range increased from 18 to 20, and its DPS increased from 54.6 to 88.72. One of the biggest improvements that was made is the fact you can now get a golden cowboy on the first wave, and surprisingly, it can defend pretty well by itself, with a level 0 golden cowboy lasting until wave 5 on follow mode. Using this tower in the early game can significantly boost your income as you'll be able to get way more farms in a shorter amount of waves. For example, when I was just testing it in follow mode, I managed to get all 8 level 3 farms by just wave 11. That's crazy and I probably could have easily gotten them all maxed out before wave 20. Apart from aiding an early game income, how much money does this tower on average actually produce? Well, it depends on the wave. However, as an example, one level 2 cowboy and wave 24 produce income 9 times, resulting in a total of 450 extra cash. That's pretty great, and considering it only costs 1,350 cash in total, that means it would only take roughly 3 waves to pay itself off. What's even more surprising is that 3 waves is faster than any level of the farm, with the most efficient levels 2 and 3 both taking 4 waves to pay themselves off. And a level 3 farm that costs 2,000 cash in total only makes 500 cash per wave. That's only slightly more than a level 2 golden cowboy, which is significantly cheaper. If you instead decided to get a level 4 cowboy, when I was testing it, it managed to produce income 11 times, resulting in an extra 1,650 cash. To be fair, this was a pretty good wave for the golden cowboy, but still, that's more than a max level farm produces. So, while it takes roughly 6 waves to pay itself off, it's usually worth it to get your cowboys to level 4. Unfortunately, with the rework, it now has a placement limit of 12. Still, if you got 12 level 4 cowboys, you would be producing an extra 19,800 cash per wave, which is noticeably more than the 12,000 cash per wave that 8 max farms would produce. And in addition to that, not only are the cowboys potentially better at producing income than the farm, they are most definitely better at defending. While their DPS isn't amazing, being only 30.66 at level 4, that can do a lot in the early to mid game and it sure is a lot better at defending than the farm. Also, 88.27 DPS at max level is nothing to scoff at. Overall, I say the Golden Cowboy is now an amazing tower and I'm going to rank it as a low S tier. It's not only a good early game tower, but it produces some great extra income. I highly recommend using it in your next game. But that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments how you would rank this tower. And if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to join the Bluehead Mafia. Also, if you want to talk to me, consider checking out my Discord. We got some pretty cool features, like a custom party finder bot that will automatically pair you up with other people who are trying to do the same strategy. There's a link to the server pinned in the comments. And finally, I want to give a huge shout out to these channel members for supporting my content. If you want to add me as a friend on Roblox or get early access to some of my videos, consider becoming a channel member. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. Anyways, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.